What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Pillars of Action. 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 Oh, you want me to do the whole thing? Isn't that what we're I thought you were doing action when I was doing the action. No, 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 you said the pillars of, and then you stared at me, and I'm like, action, and then you're going to go, I thought that's what it does. Isn't that what it hold on, hold on. We still got the music going on. <laughs> okay, so we'll try that one more time. Welcome, everybody, to the Pillars of Action. 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 There we go. That worked out. So, hey, thanks, everybody, for joining us. You got me, the Everyday Dad, and... Um, the Everyday Mom. So, thanks for joining us today. We're really excited to have you. Uh, we are, you know, let's just go ahead and get all the... Yeah. Literally, this fell apart, like... 10 minutes ago, so I just had to fix everything up, so we're getting ready to go. I see Bill Utah, I see Jacob Silver, Lloyd Mendel, Kenneth Duke, Bill, U <laughs> Bill Utah, Queen Awesome Gaming. I think I saw Travis McPee out there. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We are ready to talk about iPhones. This is not the iPhone XR, by the way. If you notice from the sweet thumbnail, I did like a... Uh oh, the lover of tech, what's up, man? I did a like an XR on the phone, but this is an iPhone 7 Plus. But let's talk about... We're just going to hop into it today, and then we'll do some more of the banter later. We have some winners to announce. I think we're going to do a giveaway today. Just we are? Cause, yeah, just because why not? Oh, okay. And then, uh, yeah, okay. let's keep going. So, hey, did you hear that there were new iPhones announced? Um, so, hold on. I'm, like, Ohio State's starting in a minute, so I'm just... You're, I want to be able to, like, check the, the score. Thing. Can you're you guys, like, shoot me the score for what's going on? Any updates, Ohio State, TCU? Thank you. Okay, so have you heard there's new iPhones? Okay, I heard some rumor about it. Well, there's not a rumor. But like, I guess it's the truth. I heard some news. So there were some new iPhones announced. There's a whole range of them. The XS, the X whatever. What I'm interested in is the XR. So the XR, here, you know what? Instead of just, like, talking at it, let's get the... Hold on, I can't... I gotta figure out a better way to do this, because, like... Okay, iPhone, XR, Apple. And then bring it down over here, and then... Can, are we, nope, we, you guys aren't seeing it. Window capture. Let's see if I can get the Hello, Mark Borishkevich. Borishkevich? Borishkevich? Yeah, you're Polish, Borishkevich. Oh, it all just messed up. Come on. Okay, whatever. It's not working. So, anyway, let's talk. So, anyway, let's talk iPhone. So, most of you, if you are tech people, you probably already know what's going on with the new iPhones. Uh, so, you know, the, th the title of the video is It's the Most Exciting and the Most Disappointing. So, it's the most exciting mm -hmm. in that. I, Apple, I feel, has finally given us like a budget. A budget. A budget Apple iPhone. Budget. Well, I mean, Nothing's it's budget budget by seven hundred fifty dollars. So. That's how much it costs. Yes. Seven hundred fifty. Seven hundred fifty. Seven hundred fifty for what? For the phone. For life. Well, not for life. For, for how much did your phone cost? I don't know. It cost about the same amount. So. Yeah, but that was like years ago, and I've had it for years. We're out of focus. There we go. It's, sometimes it has problems keeping up with two people. but uh, oh. So the iPhone XR came out. I'm going to read over the specs real quick because I can't see. I can't show it to you guys as much as I want to. But it's got the, the iPhone X's like, display. So Bill Utah did point out to me that it only has a 720p display, which is kind of lame for 2018. But I'm looking to upgrade my iPhone 7 Plus, which is what we have here. And, uh, you know, I'm just getting ready to, uh, like, the 7 Plus is great. I've been using it for two years now. Two. I've had this for two years. You have. We got. I got but, this in the we middle. Of, but in the middle of this, didn't you like have a little affair with a uh, well, Android? I still have the S9. It is a great. So, and that's something we'll talk about. I was gonna hold on. I'm trying to read the specs. So, yeah, like I said, this whole thing kind of fell apart like ten minutes prior to doing this. So I'm kind of caught with the pants down. I am wearing pants. <laughs> Anyway, it's, it should have some great specs. I'm excited about it. It sounds like it's going to be a really great little phone. The display is kind of disappointing. I don't think... Let me get... What do you guys... Since I can't think of it, what are the specs? You guys know the specs down there. But what I like about the XR is it's a smaller phone with, a, with the same screen real estate. That's one of the things that I really liked about the S9 is it has a beautiful display. The display is huge. Oh, the display is I almost... Like, slow down a second. A lot of people are chiming in that you're downgrading from the 7 Plus to the XR because the display is more 828p. 720p. Okay. Because it's pretty. It's a pretty phone. Okay, it sits between 720p and 1080 nicely. It's a pretty phone. I need I need a pretty phone. I Look, 
Look at this thing. This thing is old, guys. You can't expect me to hold on to a phone for like. Okay, the cables are. Are you are stuck? All... I'm stuck. Am I stuck? Okay. You you should be fine, but. So I'm excited about it. I'm not sure. So I'm not exactly <laughs> sure if I'm going to pre-order it or not yet. The pre-orders haven't started yet. The pre-orders for the other iPhones happened. I'm not really so. Here's <laughs> you guys may have noticed this about me is I'm not really a tech guy. So I have like this is an old phone. I still have an old computer. And oh, hold on, are we still out of focus? It's going to drive me crazy if we're out of focus. Hmm. Are we, we are I out of focus. Know. Hold on, I'm going to fix the focus real quick. Okay, but is my foot like stuck on a cord or I don't something? Know. Let's talk for a second. Okay, so in the chat, just t type in who is your college team. If you don't, don't talk about college football. If you don't have a college team, just put Ohio State because hello, they're the fit. They're the my favorite. Here we go. I got my Buckeye shirt on. Woo! Don't talk ready. about college football. Okay, they're playing now, so I was kind of bummed we were missing that, it. That should have fixed. That should have fixed our focus problem. So we are excited. <gasps> U of M. Oh, who negative? Mm. Okay, Ryan so. Swindlehurst. Oh. All right, man. <laughs> I feel like we just like, whew, that was too much oh, all at once. I, I felt like, so I did a hype, we did the hype train stream yesterday. The everyday mom was not here for that, but thanks yeah. everybody that attended the hype train. We're going to try that from, from time to time, the hype train. Choo, choo! That's the hype okay, train. don't knock over my drink. It's the hype train. So, uh, I I'm, I don't know. I'm just excited about a lot of stuff, but I'm not really a tech guy, so I haven't upgraded my phone in a while. Uh, I the thing that I do really like is I really really like my Apple Watch and I did pre-order an Apple Watch Series Four, um, but I'd like to get some more of that like new Apple phone thing to go with <laughs> the Series Four. If you guys know me, you'll know that my least favorite part of the whole Apple ecosystem is the phone. Um, I've never I'm just not a phone guy. Like I like the S9, but it doesn't work with my Apple Watch unfortunately, so I can't. It also is, like, iffy with a lot of the apps that I use, and so I can never, like, I don't know, I just can't trust it. Like, I like the S9. You guys saw that I was having problems with the S9 where, for some reason, I mean, the everyday mom saw that where it was, like, charging, but it was saying it was wet while it was charging. It was, like, a water drop on it. It was weird. Eventually, you it got... had somebody tweet the right thing to do. Somebody, like, told you yeah, I think it was original it. Dobo told me to use, like, a, a wireless charger, so I have that... Moza Mini Me gimbal that has the wireless charging for the rescue. I used that to wirelessly charge it to half. Then I was able to plug it in. It worked. I'm excited about the new iPhone. What are you excited about the new iPhone? Uh, I don't know. So, I like I don't accept technology as readily as you do. Would you say you're excited or very excited for the new iPhone? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Or super. I would oh, also accept. I'm just giddy with I excitement. I would also accept super excited. <laughs> not. Oh, I mean, but I am. She's very excited. I'm so I'm I can't so what? excited. Let's see your and iPhone. I just can't hide it. Let's see your iPhone. You already saw it last week. Look at that thing. Aww. That thing is older than. It's almost as old it's as It's older our kid. than the iPhone seven. It is because it's a six. <laughs> Right, it's not that old. It works just fine. Leave it alone. She needs to upgrade. It has all the things I need: the internets, the Googles, the texts, the calls, the pictures. The pictures. I mean, I have Google Docs on here, and I use a couple of things for work, but I don't need anything confusing. It was really hard, you guys, to switch from Android to Apple, and this was my first Apple, wasn't it? Because yeah, I no, really wanted you the had five. The six. You had the six. Oh, I remember? really wanted that five. Yep. It was so cute, that little rectangle. And then when I went to get the six, it was all big and round. But you had the six, and then what happened to it? I know, but I really wanted the five. It was you're, so You're cute. dodging the question. What happened to it? What happened to it? It was in my scrub top pocket, and I leaned, o I leaned over to pull the drain on the tub, and it just flopped out into the water. Sure, that's what happened. That's the truth. Yep. You weren't there. <laughs> I was that there. That is exactly what happened. I was there. I've never had to call in my insurance ever, even though we've paid for it for like a billion years. And then they sent her a six. Her six was so old, they sent her a six S. They're like, look, we don't even stock that old crap awesome. anymore. What are you doing? Get a new phone, lady. That's right. Thomas Garrett says, I'm keeping up with uh, the house taking my phone. That's right. I have the ESPN app. Why are we talking about football oh. again? We're, we're look, ignoring, here we go. Like, right here. Stuff. Right here. We're watching. We're ignoring Ooh, exciting stuff. Uh, Bama so what, have is crushing you, old Miss. Have you been paying attention to the, uh, to the question? Do we have any questions? 
Anuit Lim Lim Raccool. What you camera at? are I using today? I'm you. Yeah, we are using the Sony A7 III. First time that it we it really gave us some. Happy uh, birthday, Rick Halber's mama. It gave us some hiccups with uh with the focus. That's a weird thing, but so I think the iPhone XR is going to do wonderful because here's some reasons why. What? Phones are moving away from. Remember, like a couple of years ago, when you bought a like you bought a phone, like you uh, you renewed your contract, you got the phone for like what like two hundred bucks. Like that's how you got that phone. We started a new contract. With right, AT&T. I was really bummed out that I had to switch. But then, so now that we're going to like leasing phones or buying phones outright, cost matters. So cost mm-hmm. didn't matter as much when the the phone companies were subsidizing most of it. But now the cost matters. Budget phones, I feel, are going to start making a comeback. Like, look at how much people get worked up about the OnePlus series or that new Poco phone. Uh, I think the mid ranges are going to really start crushing it. Like we even saw on this channel, the Sony XA2 was like a three or four hundred dollar phone that was amazing. I yeah. think I'm going to make a prediction right here, Send right it. now. Let's hear it. You guys, you know what's going to come back in fashion? Okay. Flip phones. No. Okay. Yes, they're going to come back, but it's going to have some type of like technology when you open it like a 3d something or other or something really cool manipulating i i'm telling you i'm calling it now in fact apple call me i'll tell you how to do it and we're gonna flip it we're gonna bling it we're gonna like star spangle it we're gonna do all I, sorts of stuff I'm talking to right now i'm telling you what's he... old is new what's old is new again it all is cyclic okay whatever you say babe get ready for it i'm ready <laughs> yeah i mean i'm excited about it so cost is going to start being a really big deal and so i think the sweet spot for well i don't know because it's cr- so here's the thing right so i live in this and there's no way around it that i live in a like i view technology differently now than i did two years ago now so technology it cameras <laughs> and all this stuff on the one hand they're things that i'm excited about on the other hand, there are things that I, you know, I use. I, I don't want to say professionally, but it's stuff that I check out. So, like, my viewing of this stuff is kind of skewed. So, I don't know. I'm excited about the XR. I think the XR is going to do great, you know, whatever the display is going to be. It's the cheapest iPhone. It's the cheapest, newest iPhone. It looks like the 10. It doesn't have the dual cameras, which kind of, you know, I don't know. It still has optical image stabilization, which means... When you're using it handheld, it'll be fine, but in a gimbal, it's probably going to still be pretty bad because they still haven't cracked that. They still haven't cracked that iPhone code yet when it comes to uh, when it comes to uh, cameras. Unfor- cameras and gimbals, unfortunately. What's up? Do we got any? Do we got any other questions? Oh, okay. Let's do. Some, we haven't talked about this in a minute, so here's some administrative notes. So, if you would like to uh, shoot a question to me, you just do at Wonderwife. Or at the Everyday Dad, and I'll try to answer him as best I can. She's the one monitoring the chat. I'm just, you know, having too much fun talking to you guys, or talking at you guys, I guess. And then getting hit by her every now and again. <laughs> I'm just keeping you in line, babe. <laughs> um, if you would like to get your, like, question or comment way to the top, you can always send us a super chat. And super, whoa, I almost fell off. And super chats of $5 or more get you your very own Everyday Dad. Not this, because this is, uh, but you'll get your very own Everyday Dad magnet that we will send out to you. Super Chats from last time, we just mailed those out today, which I'm very excited about. And I've got three winners that are going to win this uh, here pretty soon that I'm going to announce from the Hype Train. Choo Choo! Every time I say Hype Train, I'm going to do Choo Choo. Just so you're aware. Be prepared. Are you prepared? I don't know that I was prepared for that. Hype Train. Choo Choo! You're, okay, you're like that's the hype you're train. like loud, and we have a little person sleeping, so is, I, that's why I'm he worried. Is, he's definitely sleeping, and I don't have any caffeine right. tonight because no, there's caffeine. That's peach tea. That is peach tea. It doesn't. It's not the same. There's caffeine in it's it. It's not the same. I don't have my caffeinated beverages, and I can't keep the microphone by my face because. <laughs> oh, careful, careful. There we go. Just say. Now I can keep the. Ah, uh, we I have some people on here who have been affected by the hurricane. Oh hey, you I guys, hope everybody's doing safe. all right. You guys, please be safe. Yeah, if you uh, all been aff- like, thankfully. Uh, we were concerned that uh, we were concerned that the hurricane was going to hit us here in the D.C. area. It was not, but to all those in North Carolina, mm-hmm. South Carolina, and the coastal region, please, uh, I see. hope everybody's safe because it looked like it hit pretty hard. I am Wedge. Throw this in the chair replacement fund. I will do that, sir. We now have a chair replacement fund. I think I am Wedge is president of the Doesn't Like the Chairs Club. I'm the president of the Doesn't Like the Chairs Club. He's my executor. He's my... Mm. He's my ex- executive officer. 
Kenneth Duke, did we see the weatherman on the Weather Channel? Are you talking about the guy that over exaggerated? The one that was leaning over as the guy as the two kids were <laughs> yes. like walking by. That was all yes. over Reddit today. People that were going like, crazy over that. It was pretty funny. If it's on, so I I don't really subscribe to a lot of Reddit channels, but as I was watching the uh, as I was watching the popular channels, that was on like three or four times. So we do have <laughs> we do have some pretty exciting uh, we do have some pretty exciting news. Um, so we've been talking about this for a while, and we'll get. Uh, if you guys have any comments or questions about the iPhone or, or what my thoughts on it are, you know, you can like again. I said you can shoot. What's up, Red Skull? Hey, what's up, man? Thanks for uh, joining us. If you guys don't know, uh, so I've, I've told you about Red Skull. Yeah, I follow his Twitter. I talk about I talk about you all the time. So thanks for joining us. Really appreciate it. Um, if you guys have any uh, additional stuff to talk about, hey, uh, have a good one, Bill. If you guys have anything else you want to talk about about the iPhone, shoot me an at. And uh, we'll go from there. And in like five, mi- five, ten minutes, we'll announce the winners of the, we'll announce the winners of the hype train. Choo choo. Okay, but do you like? No, that's not what the hype train. Choo choo. I'm gonna wake our is kid. Is all about. You're gonna wake him up. Then you, I'll do it if you do the choo choo. Then. No, we just need the soundboard that goes Hong Kong. No, you do the choo choo then. I sure won't. Then I'm gonna keep doing it. What? Like, come on, ride the train. Choo choo. If I if say you it, to will do you it. do it? If Say you don't it. do it, I'm gonna do it. Say it. Hype train. No, no, that was too loud already. No, you okay. can't. You can't do hype train quiet. Then it's not the hype train. I've said it twice now. You owe me four choo choos. I'll give you four choo choos. I'm gonna do it myself. All right, do it. Choo 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 choo. <laughs> you did not. You You're weren't gonna doing wake it. Him up. You weren't doing it. I'm going to railroad your ass. You're going to be in trouble. You can't say bad <laughs> words on the stream here. What do we got? You got police mm. moderators. <laughs> moderators. Come on. You can't allow this to happen. I'm sorry. I forgot we were alive. That's because this is, this is who we're we are. We're adults. This is who we are normally. But so, very excited. <laughs> yeah, if you guys have anything else you want to talk about, the uh, if you want to talk about the uh, the iPhone, shoot me a, an ad or super chat or something in the, in the description or the chat and... <laughs> I don't have enough caffeine going on, but we do have some big, not some big news, but I've been talking about this where we're trying to move the, uh, <laughs> we're trying to move the uh, the channel in the direction more like a team. So I have reached out to a uh, an editor. I think we're gonna we're gonna bring an editor on board, <laughs> get some awesome stuff on. The channel's gonna start moving in a, I don't say professional, but I just <laughs> I'm spending too much time editing, and I'm sorry. What what is oh. funny? Oh, just the chat is hilarious. You guys always make me laugh. Always. Oklahoma Droner says, every bad word from her, you lose a chair. <laughs> Uh-oh. Is that true? That That's would be, one of them that gone. That would be quick. That's one of them gone. <gasps> no. You said one bad word. One chair it's is gone. It's a body part. Chair? A double S. Oh, wait. I, I thought you said every curse word you said you lost a chair. Yeah. Okay, so you said a bad word. You lose it chair. wasn't necessarily bad. It's a body part. Body part. Team body part. Nah. I didn't drop like a bomb. That was definitely a bomb. No. We are <gasps> PG here. We are G rated here. And you just. Well, gosh, by golly. You just took us to like PG 13 territory. I sure did it. You did. Buttocks. You did. You did. Modern day family man, thanks for uh, thanks for coming out. Tim Scott, thanks for uh, thanks for coming out. So what do we got? Uh, Kenneth Duke, yeah. The first snow will. It's wow, snow's already happening. That's nuts. Okay. Look at there's a big hair. You see it? That's weird. That's weird. So yeah, we're excited. Uh, Everyday Dad, what about that Apple Watch? You don't want to upgrade it? I do. I actually, like I said, I have the Apple Watch Series Four pre-ordered. This is an Apple Watch Series Three. I'm excited to try out the new Apple Watch, and uh, I just like I do like um, I like Apple Watches. I don't really like smart watches. I've tried a whole bunch of them out. I haven't really liked any of them other than the Apple Watch. The whole reason I still use an iPhone is the Apple Watch. She has an Apple Watch. I do. And I was jealous of her Apple Watch working. And You're the one that not. bought it for me. I did because I'm awesome. For, for Christmas. High five. Yep. I like it because when I'm at work and I'm with patients, I can't just, I can't look at my phone. I wonder why that scared me, Jim. What? I wonder why. <laughs> what? What? Nothing keep talking. I did, I did, I did. Scared him with my reaching finger. Never know what I'm going to do. No, that is not cool. Not cool. Tim Scott, iPhone while overpriced is still the best. So here's one of the, let's, back on the iPhone discussion. One of the things, I, you know, iPhone does not necessarily have the better specs, especially on the budget, but iPhone 
Max. The thing that I, Apple does is they may not have the best specs, but they're so optimized to work together that it is it really works well. So things like, you know, my iMac doesn't even have the specs of the laptop that I normally use, but it still like for video editing is awesome. For streaming, they're pretty similar. Well, and that is a much cheaper computer than this computer, but I do like that. Um, that Apple stuff is more like interconnected. It's like more optimized to work with itself. So even I've seen people use like iPads to edit video, like 4K video, rendered, and it, it renders so fast because the RAM, the processor, the other magic, the computer whiz magic inside, they all work really well together. And that's one of the things about the the and that's a microcosm of the whole of the whole like Apple ecosystem is. Everything works really well together. The watch works with the phone, works with the computer, works with the AirPods. It all just really works sure. well. I am Wedge again. You're using adult words, or is it okay if the kid says, "Here, I'm kicking this into your swear jar." You need to put you need to put a dollar in the swear jar. Put a dollar in the swear jar. Is that all it costs? Because I could say a lot more. No, well, it's. I have ten dollars. Varying degrees of severity. Okay, well that's varying degrees. Very subjective. <laughs> <laughs> Greenland Undervan, yeah, so are we looking forward to the Hero 7 next? Rumors it's going to be an integral. I'm not very excited about the Hero 7. I'll still get it to make a video about it, but the Hero 7, I, I didn't really see much to upgrade from. And I, So here's my frustrations. Here's my frustrations with GoPro with this new line. So GoPro, I thought we'd, I thought we'd figured out what we were going to do. I thought we had gotten over the hump, and we'd all realized that, hey... You know, we don't need to come. We don't need to make so many cameras. We can just make like one camera, an evolution, and then we like, okay, the Hero Five is the cheap one. The Hero Six would be the medium one. The Hero Seven would be the high end one. It, to like, if we were to make another, but no, they're doing white, silver, bl or they're doing white, silver, black, just like the Hero Four line, which confused everybody and made everybody not buy a GoPro. So I thought we got over that. Uh, the Hero 7 doesn't look like it has too much upgrades in it. Uh, maybe a little bit better stabilization, but we'll see. I'll get one tried out. We'll see. It's pretty... It's pretty... Uh, I don't know. I'm pretty disappointed in it. And I really don't understand, like, the white and the silver GoPro Hero 7. Like, they don't have that front screen. Is my, is my GoPro up here? Oh, I yeah. thought your GoPro's on its way to Ohio. Well, I have two GoPros. It's not, but anyway, the GoPro, the like the front screen, they took them off on the the other Hero mm -hmm. 7s. Like, why would you do that? Like, even the budget GoPro Hero 2018 has that front screen, and and it's not necessarily that I ever use that screen and that screen's important. It's just that like, why would you take a part of the camera away when you're upgrading? Like, you're coming up with a new year's worth okay. of tech. Okay. Send it. I see your statement about why would you take something I away know when you're, you're upgrading. About to say. I know what you're about to say. Okay. Say it iPhone 6 to iPhone 7. I what did they take you. away? I agree with you. Like, that doesn't make... Because well, they Apple take away, it, everybody. Because Apple did it doesn't make it okay. <gasps> oh! Speaking against the holy order of Apple. I did not... An, look, just because everything I own is Apple does not make me an Apple fanboy. Oh, no? I am not You're an Apple fanboy. You're just an avid boy. collector? I am not... Look, oh. I am not an Apple fanboy in any way, An addict? If I could get Final Cut Pro... On a regular computer, I would go to a regular computer. Final Cut Pro, unfortunately, is only on Apple, so I have to use Apple. Okay, hashtag lies the everyday dad told. Hashtag everyday dad is hashtag everyday dad is the truth teller. But hashtag yeah, I do. Hold on, somebody somebody mentioned truth. out there that uh, Peter Carroll GoPro needs a 3.5 audio input. I totally agree. They do have that um, adapter that you can get, but it's like 50 extra bucks, and it like is this. It's not huge, but it's like a big extra box that you have to put on it to get a 3.5 jack. It's like super frustrating. Super, super frustrating. So why not super frustrating? Jeremiah McIntosh. I did see that. Um, I actually saw that. Uh, oh, what's the channel's name? He does a lot of the same stuff we do here. Um, Authentech. He released a video on how to do that. I haven't watched it yet, but it's pretty lame that GoPro would really... I don't know. I'm disappointed with the GoPro Hero 2018. I've made several videos about it. It's just, like, for what it is, it's just kind of bleh. So basically what that means is it's a Hero 5 that they uh, that they took, they took firmware locked it to be, like, crappy, and so that's what you get, which is super disappointing. 
And I was really kind of hoping that they, they were making a comeback. I really, 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 really. Gross technology, uh, I much prefer Final Cut Pro. I tried. So when I first got, so the, it's a Dell 7577 that uh, I'm probably going to sell here pretty soon because I haven't been using it. Um, when I first got that, I was like, okay, I'm going to move back to Windows everything. I've had enough of Apple. Obviously, that didn't work. <laughs> So I tried, I tried Adobe Premiere for like a day. I couldn't, I may, ugh, it was terrible. And then I was like, well, I'll try this DaVinci Resolve that everybody talks about. I tried that. It was terrible. So we didn't, we didn't, um, I do prefer Final Cut Pro. Hey, talk for a minute. I just realized something. Okay. Um, let's see. You have a question. What are you doing? I didn't even realize it was on. Hopefully nobody's... Hopefully nobody's um, do you like Final Cut Pro better than Premiere Gross Technology? I literally just answered that. I wasn't I paying attention. Just, I just spent two to five minutes talking about that. Okay. Is that when you said you, if Final Cut Pro was on a regular computer? That you was know? 20 minutes ago. Okay. Somebody's Sorry. Not, somebody's not Shout paying out attention. Gross Technology. Sorry. I-O. Somebody's not paying attention. Mm. Not paying attention. Okay. Philly so, Drone Life. Hi to your wife. Tom got me. <gasps> you Tom looked at your watch. I looked at Ooh, my watch. You looked at it. Way to go, Tom. Way to go, Tom. What uh, a lover of tech, Wonder Wife, looks to be a DJI Ronin S killer. What's that? Where's that? Where's oh, that? I did. Uh, uh, lover of tech, I did see that um, Moza released a Moza Air 2. I actually sent them a note, uh, my contact over at Moza that sent me the Air and the Moza Mini Me. I was like, hey, I saw that you guys released a new gimbal. Maybe you could send it to me. Dot dot dot. What are they? Ellipses, ellipses, ellipses. It looks it looks pretty good. Um, I'm a big fan of gimbals. The problem, is, uh, yeah, no, I would love to check one out. It looks like it's going to be great. I don't like speculating on stuff till I have it in my hand. Can you tell the difference between an edited video on Final Cut Pro and like a Windows program? Probably not. Is it just the ease of use that you're dedicated to? Final well, Cut I Pro? know it. Like I know how to use it. I don't so comfort yeah and, and consistency and stubbornness so you're human okay i'm stubborn well i'm not nearly as stubborn as somebody shock else shock me shock me shock me as somebody else i know i'm just I'm just saying yeah right ndl productions will i ever review the rilo 360 camera if they send it to me i would if they sent me one i would absolutely um review it maybe uh maybe i'll reach out to bnh see if they'll send me one um I have, like, the next – it's weird. Uh, I actually have, like, the next month's worth of stuff, like, laid out already. <laughs> so, like, next week we have the um, – I don't have it here right now, but we're going to be talking about the the Yi 4K+. Plus. You guys have been asking me to make a video about that. So, uh, Monday is going to be the Yi 4K+. Plus. Wednesday is going to be the Yi 4K+, Plus versus the Yi Lite. Like, is it worth, you know, getting the – is it worth spending more instead of just getting the Yi Lite? And then Friday is going to be the Yi 4K Plus versus the GoPro Hero 6 Black. And we'll see what does, is is the GoPro Hero 6 Black worth a little extra? Which top of the line camera is worth getting? I'm excited to talk about both of those. Because I love, my favorite videos to make are action camera videos. So I'm really, why? Why is that? Because the pillars of action. Say it right. I won't, but is Say that the answer? Right. Say it right. P-O-A. Nope. B. Say it right. The pillars of action. Oh no. 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 Lame. Oh no. I'd leave the live stream too. <gasps> <laughs> hey, gaming fury. Thanks Red Skull. For the us. E4K Plus is awesome. I have it with me all the time. Yeah, I'm really excited to check it out. I've been um, a huge fan of the E Light. I've been, you know, talking about how much I love that for over a year now. So. I've been meaning to make a video about the E4K Plus. I finally got one, and it is time to make videos about it. So that is next week. The week after that is going to be uh, the final round of budget. Where is it at? I know this one's here. The final round of budget cameras, like if you're making online videos with the <laughs> M100. So that Monday will be the M100. The day after that will be the M100 versus the A5100, since they're basically the same camera but from two different companies. And then Friday is going to be like the big culmination of the budget camera so not this friday but next friday will be what is the best online camera you can get for 500 bucks and the three big contenders are going to be the canon m100 the sony a5100 and the lumix g7 that's a lot of numbers 
It is, but they are all awesome cameras, and so we're gonna be we're gonna be making all of those videos, and then that Friday will be the big culmination. After that, we've got the Fujifilm XT3 we're gonna be talking about. Uh, then the Apple Watch Series Four. Then good night, Tim Scott. Then hopefully, you know, at that point, that's what a month. That's a month's worth of stuff. I don't know what we're gonna talk about after that. I'm actually. Ooh, music. Yeah, the music's still on. It's just not transmitting. Uh, I am actually really excited about this Fuji X-T3. We talked a little bit about it this week. Um, but I'm considering, if it's as good as it looked from the videos I've seen, I may get rid of the a7 III and replace it with the X-T3. It does, you know, it's basically a, a bigger GH5. And I've been talking about how much I like the GH5. I've considered... Thanks, Dapper Dop. And we're talking... Dapper Dop, what's up, man? Thanks for joining us. I really appreciate it. Um... One of the things I've been considering going back to a GH5, because I, I currently use a Sony RX105 for the B-roll. I use the Sony a7 III for this stuff, but it's kind of lame to have two cameras for stuff. And I think I'm just going to like get one camera to bring everything back in. Liron Segeviv, man, what is, everybody is coming on today. Thanks for joining us, man. A month of camera gear? Absolutely. It's going to be a lot of camera gear, because I can't really fly drones around here. So drones are kind of like... A topic I can't talk about much anymore. Hooray for that. Get off your phone. I'm checking the score. That doesn't count. Three to zero, Ohio State. Woo. Hooray. Ryan Swindlehurst, any decent cameras for around 200 bucks? Maybe. I mean, I would save up. Maybe Ooh. you could find like a used T2i or T3i, like a can, like an old Canon APS-C uh, camera. But for that amount, you're just you're better off like saving for maybe like three to four hundred bucks and then you could get like an a5100 <laughs> or something um, thomas says you just need good. to switch to the sidekick yeah, I know, right? <laughs> we got one <laughs> i know right it's charged up where is it still works where is it you don't even know where it's at it's in here is it yes it is red skull oh the drone is just we moved to an area where you can't really fly drones anymore like washington dc has a 15 mile uh, big angry red circle that says no flight um which means like if so where we live it's like even outside of that circle it's no fly zone everywhere because there's like a billion airports around here so the only place that i can really go fly is if i drive like an hour and a half you know each way which i just you know i love flying drones but it's just been too hard to try to do that so big drone releases we'll probably still make videos about but it is just i mean it's too hard to do it, it the Driving three hours to get like 30 minutes of B roll is just, it's tough. Like, it is tough. It has been, it has been a, it has been a, a tough one. Yeah, I used to fly in my backyard. I used to fly in my backyard, but I can't anymore. Dana Gladney, despite everything I've said, I still want to try the Canon R. I still want to try the Canon R. Um, I think the Canon R is still going to be a pretty darn good camera. The reason, so I was going to pre order it. <laughs> The reason I really didn't is the price. It looks like it's, I think it's going to be an awesome camera. And people that are complaining about it, there's only the only real thing you can complain about it is that <laughs> the crop is pretty darn aggressive. But even then, it's not that big of a deal. Basically, what you would be dealing with is like a Canon C300 Mark II uh, because you got the autofocus, you got the screen, you got the same colors, you know, the same color science behind it. You can have that like ND filter adapter to use with an EF lens. Uh, it looks, and it's like half, it's like less than half the cost of a Canon C300 Mark II. So I'm not like, I still want to try one out, but it was just too expensive for like that cost. You can get so much better stuff. Um, but I would love, I would love to try it out. But it is, yeah, it is just too, 3300 bucks to get the camera and the kit lens. Them's pricey. Them, especially when you look at like the like I said, I'm really excited for the XT3. The XT3 with the kit lens is 1,800 bucks, which is still expensive, cheaper than the A7 III body by itself. Um, but yeah, I what I here's what I want to have happen is Panasonic is getting ready to announce a full frame mirrorless camera of their own, like in two weeks. If they announce that with phase detection autofocus. That was me like doing game over. Like Whoa. I will buy. I don't if that one is 3,300 bucks. I will buy it. I love Panasonic cameras. That G7 this week has impressed the heck out of me. I'm not. I don't even have links for it in the description of this video. Like, I'm really impressed with the G7. Like, I used it for months. Like, I used that G7 for a long time, and I was really surprised at just darn how darn good it was. 
when like recording. Oh, which speaking of which, let's talk about the winners of the uh, the the hype train. Oh, choo choo, choo choo. I'll let that one slide. I'm trying. I'll let that single one slide. I'm reading all the comments. I'm like you have, but you mm-hmm. haven't said any questions to me. So how any you... questions? Okay, well here, here's. Hold on, we're gonna announce the winners first. So, like I said, we do you did, see what you just did to me? We did the hype train. You're like you need to say something. I'm like I'm gonna say something, the, and you train wreck it. We did the hype train. Choo choo, and uh, so I I gave Are everybody like a little bit of a contest to win your very own magnet. Where You're crazy. there were two pieces of B-roll in the the G7 versus the A73 video. Mm-mm. There was a you know a flower that was filmed, and then my motorcycle that was filmed, and I, it was. Who could pick the first three people to pick the right film won the uh, won the contest. So the correct answers were the flower was recorded with the G7 and the motorcycle was recorded with the A7 III. Um, and so the three people that got the first three people that got that right were, hold on, it is NB NBD Visuals was one of them. <laughs> there you go. There you go. NBD Visuals was one. Uh, Oh, MBD. He, Aaron Aaron Barkley and hold on, there was I had the other he one. He won uh, not too long ago. Dang. Well, I thought I had all three of them. Okay, well, there's a third one. Third person, I will reach out to you. So, MBD uh, Visuals or who else did I say? Crystal Clear Media. If you're here, just reach out to me after this, and we will <laughs> we will send you your very your your magnet. We will send you your magnet. What else do we got going on in the... Uh, yeah, Red Skull is a big uh, big fan of the A6500, A6300. I like those cameras. The only problem I had with the A6300, I actually mentioned it in the, the video on Friday, is that it looks great, but when I used it for some reason, it did not agree with like my complexion. It always made me look like I had black eyes. I didn't really, I didn't really like it that much. I mean, I liked it that... I mean, I used that one. If So in the hierarchy of cameras that I've used the most... The G7, the A7 III, and then the A6300. Um, five to help at home. I didn't do the wet willy this time, Ted. That's thank goodness for you, Jim. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat, Jim. Really appreciate it. Alan Edwards, I got the Canon SL2 now, and the autofocus is great. No 4K. Yeah, I tried out the SL2 not that long ago, and it's an awesome camera. Uh, that dual pixel autofocus the Canon has is it's next level good. It is really really darn good and i'm i'm pretty i'm pretty darn uh, pretty darn happy about it nathan stowell i am actually excited about the nikon mirrorless i'm excited about the z6 of all the big cameras that have been announced recently uh, the xt3 and the nikon z6 are the ones that i'm most excited about right now you know whenever sony and panasonic release whatever they're talking about maybe that'll be it but um yeah i think the nikon z6 is going to be an awesome awesome video camera uh the you know it's going to do 4k 30 10 bit 422 to an external recorder. That's pretty awesome, especially in a full, like it does the full frame. So even the Sony A7 III, when I'm do 4K 30, has a crop on it. It's not a big crop, but it does have a crop. So um, I'm pretty excited for the Nikon Z6. DJI Spark, hey, that's my favorite drone. What is my favorite camera, Nikon or Canon? I've never really used a Nikon, and I've only used one or two canons my favorite are panasonic cameras which is weird because i don't have a single panasonic camera that i own right now i have i have one that i'm checking out uh for the channel but panasonic cameras are my favorite i think their color's great i think their budget is great i think they pack an awful lot of tech into their cameras they're not a camera manufacturer that like uh they're not a camera manuf- manufacturer that like protects their higher end cameras they put as much as they can into each camera which is really great i'm big real big fan of panasonic the big problem, the only reason I don't have it right now is their autofocus is terrible. Uh, that contrast-based autofocus is awful. I like autofocus. I like having good autofocus so I can just like get in front of the camera and get going. Um, yeah, Panasonic's way my favorite. Gaming Fury, thanks so much for the $2. Love your channel. Why'd you leave the LX10? The reason I left the LX10 was the same for the, uh, like I just mentioned about the Panasonic cameras. The autofocus was bad. I really liked the LX10. Uh, the LX10 had... Really great video, really small. It got it was f 1.4, which for a point and shoot, I don't know that there's another point and shoot that goes to 1.4. Incredible camera. I like the LX10. If you were looking for a point and shoot and you didn't care about autofocus, I'd go with the LX10 because it's very reasonably priced and it did not cost that much. I see 
Lover of Tech talking about the Atomos Ninja 5. I am also excited about the Atomos Ninja 5 if it would ever get released. I've had one on pre-order for like three months now. And I don't really want to use the Ninja 5 for like... Like recording to like 10-bit 422. What I want to use it for is it's an external hard drive that I can record... You know, that would change up my workflow where I'm able to, you know, record to an external hard drive, pop the external hard drive straight into the computer and get going instead of messing with like transferring files between SD cards. I am very, very excited about it. If it ever, ever gets released, if it ever gets released, which it probably, I don't know, probably won't, probably won't. What, what do we got? What do we got? Do we got any questions? You've been very quiet. Not to the Ohio State game. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I am I bothering you with the live? Well, it was a today? fumble touchdown. I would have liked to have seen that. Guess I'll have to watch the replay. Okay, so chitter chatter, that's going on right now. Hmm. Everybody just and you probably already answered these questions. I don't know. Did I? What's your favorite camera ever? Yep, answered it. Um. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know. I don't know. We have a lot of people joining us from all over the country. So thank you, everybody, from wherever you are. And for the people that are fighting with uh, the hurricane right now in the um, United States, please be safe. Um, can you move to South Dakota so I you cannot, can fly dra- drones? I cannot move to South Dakota, unfortunately. Um, Diana Gladney, she's chatting. She wants to try Canon. Which Canon? The Canon I already R. talked about it. Okay. And... Yes. I guess don't shoot your stuff right. over at Wonder Wife. I'm ch- Gaming I'm... Fury, here's $4 for the Canon R. Well, thanks so much. I just need a, a lot more than that. Like a thousand <laughs> word? I don't know how to do math. A, a lot more than that. Can I move um, to the planes? No, I won't be moving to the planes. New York, yeah. Hey, everybody from New York. I'll be back in New York in October. I'm really excited to uh, to go back to New York City. I spent you know two a uh, day and a half there last, two weeks ago. Really great time. I'll be up there again for the uh, Photo Plus. I'll be up there for the Photo. Uh, <clears throat> I'll be up there for the Photo Plus Expo Here, in uh, October. Really, really excited. You want some of this? No, thank okay. you. Joe Simpson says he's not that far. Are we gonna have a meetup here sometime? Yeah, I've been talking about uh, doing a meetup up here. Um, we talked about this last live stream, like in the, like the November December time frame. Oh. Maybe we'll have one up oh, here. Oh, okay. All right. Kenneth, dude, move to the Swampland, dude. I am from the Swampland. I do no, not but he's ever... from like the Everglades Swampland. Oh, like I'm not legit. from the Everglades. I'm from the middle. I'm from the Ohio swamps. I have no <laughs> desire. The Ohio swamps. You, this there was a swamp right outside of my town. Like you, to get I to, know. I've been to it, to but it's to just like, funny. It's not funny. It's funny. <laughs> that's where I grew. That's where I grew up. But no, thank you. No, yeah, it was awesome pizza, and she is getting awfully distracted tonight. Diana Gladney, Panasonic absolutely, absolutely just throws it all at their cameras. Their cameras, I have never been so happy as using a Panasonic camera. Like the, I've used the G7, the G85, the G9, the GH5. I've used the GH5 three times because I, something keeps pulling me back to it. I wish, I just wish it had better autofocus. Every time they up, they do a firmware update, people say it gets better. It doesn't get that much better, at least for me. So as much as I want to like it, I just can't. And even today, so today I was considering, uh, like I mentioned, I'm thinking about, I've got some stuff boxed up over here that I'm like, maybe I'll sell it, maybe I won't. And I'm thinking about selling the the RX100. I'm thinking about selling the A7 III because I just don't like having so many cameras. Um, if I'm not going to use it, then it's wasted. Like, if, So I was thinking about getting like an all-in-one solution. The GH5 would be an all-in-one solution. It's got the slow motion, the stabilization, the beautiful image. Uh, but that autofocus is just bad. So I'm hoping the X-T3 can solve a lot of stuff for me because I'm very, very excited for the X-T3. Hey, thanks for joining us, Red Skull. Really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Well, Joe Simpson, how about editing Hardworks General Drives RAID? I don't have anything special. I just use a... Uh, I don't have it around here. I have a G drive. Um, I have a G drive solid state external hard drive. I got it on like Amazon warehouse deals for like half off. I just, uh, my workflow is I take the, I'm sorry, can you mute your phone, please? Beat it. Uh, I export all of my footage onto the external hard drive. I take it from the external hard drive, and then I just edit it straight on the computer. That's been the fastest way I've been able to work it. It, um, it works really well. Works really well. 
DJ Spark, we talked about it for like the first 20 minutes of the video. I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be a beautiful phone. I'm probably going to get it. Yeah, we talked about it for like 20 minutes. There's only so much we can talk. There's only so much I can talk about phones. Phones are not like my big thing. But I think it will be a great, I think it will be a great, great phone I'm excited about. Back from the sky, there's only so much camera talk I can take. More drone videos. Uh, like I mentioned, there's only so much droning I can do. So drones are... We're gonna ha we're gonna have to do less drone videos here, just because of where I moved. Like it's not that I don't want to do them. I very much want to keep doing them. It's just hard to do because of where we're at. Yeah, I definitely use a uh, I definitely use a uh, external hard drive. What's up, Joe? Thanks for joining us. Okay, so we talked about the winners. We talked about we've talked about basically everything that I wanted to cover today. Is there anything that you didn't get to talk about that you want to talk about? Okay, Ohio State, State is winning high. ten to zero, right now. Oh, 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 TCU. Hmm, <laughs> they're moving on down the field. Okay, so so football, you guys. Else? I'm I'm excited about football. Move, yeah, move. Oh yeah, yeah, I would like to. I know, I know. It's not an option for us, but thank you for the yeah, suggestion. It would, be, it would be nice if we could. So what? What else? Yeah, like the so cameras. So some let's talk about the Sony A7000 maybe. So Sony is either in the next week or there's some rumors that so ah, we talked about that last week. William Kelly, we should do more videos about production of videos. Yeah, I have I have a whole bunch of videos about um like how I make YouTube videos. I have one called How Not to Make a YouTube Video, which I thought was a cheeky thing to say about like making YouTube videos cuz I went through like my first video and said like how you could not make them pretty funny but my workflow hasn't changed too much since we talked about that video uh it's everybody keeps asking mm. if that's we're having a serious fire here what oh yeah hey uh hopefully everybody is doing okay there so i wasn't i guess i wasn't uh, aware of a big fire right there i wasn't aware of a big fire so yeah absolutely we'll keep we'll keep zach in our thoughts bill thanks for thanks for the heads up and yeah lover oh. of tech the xt3 definitely looks like a beast and it, looks like pass, yeah. it looks like it's going to be great. It definitely looks like it's going to be great. And the Sony, the Sony cameras look like I'm very excited, excited for the new Sony cameras. Um, the big thing. So like, what would it have to do to pull me away from like the a seven three or like the Fujifilm at this point, like a flip screen is not necessarily the only thing that's going to pull me away. I've been using a camera now for so long that doesn't have one. Like, do I really need one at this point? I would like one, but, um, yeah, the the XT3. I am. I haven't been so excited about a, a camera in a while. Like, even if what would Sony have to do to pull me away from like? I just like even if the A7S3 comes out with a flip out screen in 4K 60, it's gonna be like 3,500 bucks. Like the A7S2 is still an expensive camera, so it's gonna be expensive. Uh, you know, an A7000 would be the thing that I would be most interested in because I like APS-C cameras. I think they're kind of like the, the happy medium between like, I like full frame, but I don't like full, fr I like full frame bodies. I don't like full frame lenses. Like, uh, I mentioned this in the Friday, a lot of talk about the Friday video today. I mentioned this in the Friday video that one of the reasons I'm not planning to stick around with Sony full frame for, you know, in the long term is the lenses are just too big. They are heavy as heck. I don't like using them because we tried the 24 to 105. It was heavier than the camera itself. Which, I mean, I guess that makes sense for people, but that doesn't make sense for me. I like smaller lenses. I like smaller kit. That's one of the reasons I like Micro Four Thirds and I like APS-C. So I think the Fujifilm will be a nice middle ground. The problem I'm having right now with the Fujifilm is there's not very many lenses that, like, there's not very many Fujifilm lenses that are, like, doing it for me. Like, there's a few that are great, that look okay. Like, there's a 16 millimeter 1.4, but it's, like, a thousand bucks. Um, I would be okay with, like, a 24 millimeter f2. That'd be pretty great. Joe Simpson heard that Samsung just pushed out a bunch of sensors full frame and rumors Panasonic working on a full frame. Yeah, uh, like I said, um, the Panasonic full frame is the, could be the biggest, I just, please, Panasonic, please, 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 Panasonic, please, please, have phase detection autofocus on that camera. Please do not put contrast-based autofocus in your new camera. Please. Please, please don't do that. Do not do that. Please, because I don't want to hear about it. Yeah, please. you would definitely hear about it. Help at home. Uh, the X-T3 is an APS-C sensor. 
Uh, yeah. What's up, Jeff? Thanks for joining us. DJI Spark, do you own the Inspire 2? If not, would you like to? I do not have an Inspire 2. I have the uh, I have the Mavic 2 Pro, and I have the Mavic Air, and I have the Spark. I would like to get an Inspire, but again, I just I can't fly drones around here anymore, so it wouldn't do much for me. It would just sit in the closet. And we're trying to do a we're trying to do some like downsizing of gear because I'm looking at hiring somebody here in the very near future to do my editing. And I actually uh, have somebody in mind. I have somebody in a I have somebody in mind that I think we're gonna bring on in November. November's when we're gonna start having an editor. And my plan is to like introduce him at some point when we we don't have it we don't have it firmed up. The details are not firmed up yet. Um, but I do think I've got an editor that we're gonna start working with. And that will give me more free time because I just am exhausted. I'm just exhausted. Like, editing takes so much of my time, and I'll be very excited when somebody else does it. Okay, we are at 55 minutes. We'll do five more minutes. The focus problem is we're still not in focus. Maybe she's... A, the thing is, we're shooting kind of shallow, so she might be in focus, which means I'm not in focus, which is frustrating. Frustrating. Fine. It's frustrating. Yeah, I can't fly it as much as I want to. And I would love to fly it so much more. Gross technology. Yeah, my wife is happy with all the time doing YouTube. Yeah, you, it's definitely, it definitely took us some time to figure out a balance because I spent a lot of time vlogging when I first started out. Somebody didn't like it, so I had to it stop. It did not work it. for our lifestyle. So you just got to, you just got to, you just got to balance it out. You got to figure out what works. Back from the sky. Yes. Wonder wife in the chat is the everyday mom. Um, right here next to me. So she does all of that stuff. Hey, Jeff Baker. What's up, Jeff? Queen Awesome Gaming. Heck isn't G-rated. That means you get a chair because you lose one. A heck what? Basically, what has happened so far is that she loses a chair because she said a bad word. Well, then you can just sit on the floor next time. We're we're in here. Well, How about that? You lose your chair. How about them apples? You lose your chair. No. I'm pretty sure that's how that works, mm -mm. right? No, if you want to stay married, it's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> Iru Aruda, I own M50 but autofocus with the F3.5 50 millimeter. What is F3.5 50 millimeter? That's a pretty. I mean, yeah, you need more light for the autofocus to work, but the M50 does have that dual pixel autofocus, which when I tried it out was pretty darn, pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Okay, everybody. Well, hey, thanks for joining us. I think we're gonna. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Have I tried the Parrot Mambo? I have not tried the Parrot Mambo, but I've seen some cool... The Parrot Mambo is the, the fixed wing one, right? That's like a... a, It's like the drone, but has the propeller. That one looked pretty cool. James Groon, you made the right decision. What's Your that? wife wanted you to go with her. That's the priority. In our house, family is the priority. Right, yep. darling? It is. So on the note, hey, thanks everybody <laughs> for joining us. We Thanks for joining us for the Pillars of Action. <laughs> action 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 all right everybody hey thanks for joining <laughs> us and we will catch you well wrong computer to stop streaming but yeah thanks for joining us everybody and we will catch you next week same time same place same action oh i like i like that oh oh i like